Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am looking at Mission Controller Mod. Now, I have previously looked at Mission Controller Mod, but in light of recent events, I thought I would take one last look at it. Now, Mission Controller Mod essentially adds uh, to science, it now adds money to the whole uh, mission building experience. So not only are you trying to get enough science to do more missions and unlock more parts, you're now trying to pay for each of these missions by performing either contracts or uh, missions. Now, if I just look at the list here, I'm just gonna close this down. We have uh, contracts, for example, that are randomly generated. Launch interstellar probe, launch satellite, into high orbit or a repair contract, except I can't accept a repair contract because I have a, because I don't have anything orbit. I can't do this one because I don't have unmanned technology. And this one also needs a no crew goal. So all of these are, are lousy, but yeah, the game will generate contracts which make money. Missions, missions of course, are more or less what we're used to. There's a bunch of mission categories to pick from. A uh, good place to start is for uh, for science, for proper career mode, is this, uh, the bootstraps. It's the Kerbin Sphere of Influence. So, very simple mission is to get above 10 kilometers and go no higher than 60 kilometers. So, selecting that mission, we can go to the vehicle assembly building and start to build a cheap spacecraft to do it. Now... Cheap spacecraft, unfortunately, you're going to immediately spend almost thirteen thousand dollars just on this, uh, on this pod. I'm guessing that it's actually twelve thousand five hundred, but uh, the EVA fuel or the RCS fuel that it carries is uh, enough to push the price up just a little. So we're just going to strap a solid booster onto that and a parachute. That's great. And uh, so that whole spacecraft is going to cost 14100 and I think we can actually take this into space if I get the staging correct, because that would be really embarrassing if I did that during this video, didn't I? Isn't it? So you have a bunch of goals. First of all, you have to be on Kerbin. Check. I have to be above 10 kilometers, and I have to be below 60 kilometers, and I need at least one crew member. So let's launch this, and I'm just going to turn over slightly so we head over more or less towards yeah, the grassland. And that's us, we are headed off on this mission. I should probably do a crew report from this altitude. You look out of the window and see a piece of your rocket fly off. It wasn't important, anyways. Okay, so that's us. We know how this goes, we're going to get up to altitude and everything's going to work. Can, the reason that I wanted to do this again was because Harvester put out this dev blog essentially announcing that uh, 0.24 Kerbal Space Program was going to be uh, delayed. And what happened was that 0.24 went into testing and people involved with the testing really, uh, they th thought that the contracts as implemented really didn't work unless there was money involved. Originally, from a developer's point of view, it made a lot of sense to separate uh, each thing into a logical block, to have budgets in one release and to have contracts in another release. But they're so interdependent gameplay-wise that it was kind of realized both of these things needed to happen at the same time. On top of this, there was the simple fact that uh, when they originally planned the .24 release, they hadn't thought about when the asteroid redirect mission would happen. And so Asteroid Redirect was a sort of mini-release, if you remember. It was 0.235, and it added new parts, but it also brought forward uh, a whole bunch of features that were originally slated for 0.24, right? There were things like the joint reinforcement, there were improvements to the uh, orbital mechanics, there was a bunch of random little things there which would take away from the 0.24 release. So that if they just went by the original plan, it was going to be a little sparse, I guess. But uh, really, the developers have decided that they want everything at once. They want to make sure that contracts can stand up when compared against the mission controller mod. I should probably be time accelerating, shouldn't I? So that, you know, so that the developers can hold their head up high and be proud of what they've produced and, you know, whatever, right? 
Uh, this is mission control or I'm just gonna land this on the surface. The, the idea is by doing this I get a bunch of cash. Some of the missions also have uh, science payouts. Some of the contracts have science payouts. One of the things that's missing that uh, is it going to be in the full system, as I understand it, is prestige. And yes, Chatterer is chattering away in the background too. And... Touchdown! Oh, excellent. Now, I destroyed my rocket, but I can't actually recover it for cash, so it's not a, not a problem. Oh yeah, also note we have a female Jebediah here because we have the texture replacement pack. So we should probably uh, do some more science because this is our one chance to get science. There she is there, without a helmet because of course she is on Kerbin. So I'm going to take the data from there and store the experiments there and do an EVA. Flying this close to the ground is definitely not overrated. I think you need to learn the difference between flying and standing on a ladder. Ah yes, epic Kerbal Space uh, Program is jumping on a ladder. So take surface sample, you pick up a small creature, yay! EVA request, I don't think a spacesuit was necessary to get here. Yes, it wasn't, that's why you're wearing just a helmet. Okay, keep this data and jump on back in. Complete the mission. Re oh, board. There we go. Recover the mission. So now, you'll see over here, total mission payout, eighty thousand dollars. Excellent. And I only spent fourteen thousand dollars. So I'm, you know, I've now got a bit more cash to continue uh, my mission series. Uh, I can unlock these various parts here. Let's just uh, let's just hide this temporarily. Research. Of course, this is the direction to go. Uh, it's a, lo a little harder to get all the stuff needed because you need to fly these missions and whenever you fly a mission you need a command pod so you can't really just sit a command pod on the landing pad and get the science there because of course that's going to cost you $12,000. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see uh, what other things we can do. Uh, package, what other options are there? So, you know, you can switch packages if you want, I guess. Here's the random missions. They are stock missions that generate random mission goals within their own mission goals, i.e. orbit goals will have random apoaps and periaps. So here's another version of the manned mission to uh, gain altitude, go up to 350,000. Great! Let's select that mission and do it as well. I mean, let's actually look at the other missions that we've got. You have uh, it's interplanetary, this is, you know, getting out to Minmus, transfer to Jewel and crash the vessel there, onto, onto Jewel. Okay, that is, of course, with a, a probe only, and, I mean, of course, there's no requirement, you could do it manned, but uh, it doesn't require that you have people on board. Go to Moho, and go to Ilu. Great! Uh, close that. Let's select another package. Lunar bases, lunar orbitals. So these are lunar orbiting missions. For example, surface launch from Kerbin to refuel an orbital station with large stores of liquid fuel or monopropellant. Basically, you need to launch to the target orbit with a... Uh, you've got to dock with a station. I guess... Um, I'm not sure if the station actually is added. I'm curious about that. I guess you have to launch your own station as well. Hold on. Lunar Orbital, select. This focuses on programs involving the setup of station support infrastructure, both in orbit around the planetary bodies and on their surface. Crew transfer. All these features, these are all things to give you something to do. And it is no mean feat to actually, you know, fly some of these ones. This is another early manned mission. So I could, I need to get a little higher now, right? I need to get, oh, why is this thing stuck like that? I need to get more altitude. Fortunately, I don't have any science yet. Oh no, I do have science. Okay, I guess I guess I'll stick a couple of sciencey things on the side here. Dee, dee, dee. That'll do. And we'll stick a decoupler there. Although, you know what, it doesn't actually matter. I can leave the decoupler off because this thing will cushion my fall. 
Uh, yeah, as I was saying, if uh, your spacecraft gets destroyed on descent, you can... Uh, well, what there is under here, research window, you can spend the science on things like vessel recycling. And that means that when the vessel lands, you will recover it and get some cash back. That costs you 300 science. There's other, like things that improve the amount of payouts and various other options or cut the cost so if you want to spend science you can improve your cash flow if you do it right but i'm just going to fly this little mission with this little thing that should get me up to something something kilometers maybe instead what i'll do is this do that so that'll get me started and I don't know, maybe maybe I need another stage in there. Since stages are relatively cheap. I'll do another one of these. How much is this going to cost me? This is going to cost 26,000. And you know what? Here's the thing. These are expensive. These uh, these um, goo experiments, those are really expensive. So you can't really spam science in the same way that you used to. Okay, let's launch this and off we go. We're going to try and make it to maybe... 56 kilometers. Even better, we might make it up to 150 or 250 or higher. But we will be plummeting straight down through the atmosphere at high speeds. Okay, let's let this thing go off. Jebediah Kerman. Ms. Jebediah Kerman to you. Wonder Woman has nothing on Jebediah Kerman. Dang, there we go. Bang, next one. So again, quick time acceleration to like just try and get out of the atmosphere as quickly as possible. And fire. There. That should keep us going upwards. Oh, we're not even accelerating at regular speeds anymore. This should have enough uh, thrust to actually manage to get there, regardless. Okay, so I'm going to probably observe the mystery goo at this altitude, just so we get it. It jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Great. Great. And time accelerate again. You can really see the clouds fly by beneath us. And I don't know what my ultimate altitude will be, but if this keeps going well, we should get some decent altitude. Is that? Oh, that's a little bit of a mountain sticking out there. We'll do this once I get into space. We're still going up. One kilometer per second at 70 kilometers up. We're accelerating and accelerating. The only danger is we don't want to find out that we escape the sphere of influence. That would be unfortunate. Ah, there we go. 350, 421. Excellent. I got to throttle down to make sure. Okay, I get extra cash there. So I'm getting cash as these mission goals flip by. Okay, you know what? Uh, got to do the crew report. Got to do the EVA report. And I got to take the data. And EVA report, keep data, store the data, and once we get about 300 kilometers, we'll get another crew report. You know what? In fact, I'm going to reset this goo container and take a reading at this altitude, and once we're above 300 and something kilometers, we'll take another reading. Okay, time accelerate again. Hey, 10,000, and there we are above the altitude. So take a reading here. Uh, crew report. The spacecraft crew and some guys at Mission Control are playing chess over the radio, all the while on a ballistic trajectory which will eventually fall back to the surface. Uh, EVA report. It crosses your mind that a thin layer of mylar and glass is the only thing separating you from nothing. Collect the data. Store the experiments. Collect the data. Store and actually, I gotta take and store again. Okay, that way we can actually do some science on the way back down. There we go. Speed things over a little faster. And now we can do a crew report at this altitude, right? Yes, you wonder, you look out the window and wonder where the nearest fast food is. I'm gonna deploy my parachute. Whoa, fire! Fire! And I guess we are reasonable distance from these mountains, but we don't know how, what kind of altitude I'm gonna be at. But I will no doubt come over, 
come down over perhaps the highlands or maybe the midlands. But we're coming down very, very quickly because it takes a long time to decelerate from when you're coming straight down. And, 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 deploy. Yes, excellent. Now just accelerate onto the surface so that I can collect the rest of the data that I really, really want. And... Touchdown! Finish and save! Okay, great. And I gotta try and get over so I can get out of this thing and collect the data that I want. Ah, come on! Yes, excellent. That is what I want. Okay, a crew report. Oh no, we don't want to override it. We're gonna EVA. And take and store. Ah, this isn't so bad. Get back in! Quick! <laughs> it's interesting that the ragdoll seems to understand that they don't have a helmet on. EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was necessary to get here, which is why you're not actually wearing a spacesuit. This is hardly going to be a groundbreaking discovery. Okay, let's see if I can get back in. Come on! No, no. <laughs> it's so much easier to see her. Come on, get in, get in. Bored, excellent. And recover the vessel. Now, oh look, now I get a ton of cash. I get 135,000. You can play this in hardcore mode where you get a lot less cash and everything else. As I said, the intention as I understand it, as the developers have described it, is that there will be a third type of currency called prestige which can you know, basically demonstrate to the world how awesome your space program is. But uh, that will be kind of separate and in parallel to cash and, and science. Uh, but yeah, right now, for at least the foreseeable future, Mission Controller is the place to go for all this information, for this uh, kind of gameplay. And uh, you should maybe give it a go before it is rendered obsolete by the next release of Kerbal Space Program. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.